I don't have the kids with me right now, but I'm just quickly gonna show you how to roll out some dough for our no-bake cake pops. And then the kids will be back tomorrow morning to sprinkle them, frost them, and decorate them with their friends. I'm gonna make two batches really quick. This is super simple. It's so healthy. Okay, so in one mixture, I am going to use a white whole wheat flour and an oat flour. In the other mixture, I'm going to use some almond flour. When I made these the other day to test the recipe, I used almond flour and I loved it, but I don't know if A, it's not school friendly, and B, I don't really know if my kids would love it. So I'm gonna try two different batches tonight. We are just gonna do one and a half cups of flour. Just a little bit of salt, about a teaspoon or so of salt. Okay, one teaspoon of vanilla. As you know, I never measure this, so we're gonna estimate. One teaspoon, that's about right. We had some requests for cake pops, which is why we figured we would, we would do a healthy version of a no-bake cake pop. Okay, we are just going to use a third of a cup of maple syrup. When I tested out the recipe, I only used a third of a cup and they were still very sweet. We are also going to dip these in frosting, so a third of a cup was perfect. We don't need them sweeter than that. And then we're gonna do an eighth of a cup of melted coconut oil. Just put it all in one bowl. These are quite simple and we're just gonna mix it all together. You wanna make sure everything's really incorporated. Um, it's a little bit dry. It's hard to come together. I did add a touch of water. Here's an eighth of a cup of water. I'm actually not gonna add the whole thing. I'm gonna just drizzle and see if I can get this dough to stick together before I go ahead and add the whole eighth of a cup. I'm gonna use my hands. Yeah, so when you actually use your hands, you'll find that it might be actually a little stickier than you thought. Okay, I have some help from some friends who are gonna help me roll these. These are guys. These are my best friends since elementary school. So we have one batch that is almond flour. I did half a cup of almond flour and one cup of white whole wheat in one batch. And I did one cup of white whole wheat and a half a cup of oat in the other. So we'll see. I think that we're gonna like the almond flour texture, but I don't know about the kids. So we will find out when we come back. Hey guys, we are back. I have the kids here with me. We have some frosting. We are gonna go ahead and glaze up our no-bake cake pops. We're so excited. We do have some friends here to help us as well. We're gonna go ahead and get these all decorated. Here you go. And then they're gonna go in the fridge after me. Yep, all right, go ahead guys, start decorating. Oh my god! Okay, don't eat it yet. We gotta go put them in the fridge first. That is amazing. No! No! Oh, buddy. Of course. Oh, okay. It's okay.
just came back really quick to tell you what we thought while the kids are outside playing. They did an awesome job decorating them. So I made the dough last night. As you saw, I put it in the fridge overnight. I took the dough out first thing this morning. So the ones with the oat flour did not get as soft as the almond flour ones. This is actually one of them. They're a little bit hard to the touch. So next time, if I were gonna make these, if I was going to use oat flour again, I wouldn't put them in the fridge overnight. I would just make them frost them, put them in the fridge for a few minutes just to have the chocolate harden, and then I would eat them right away. The almond flour ones were great. I personally, they were, um, they tasted a little more like cake coffee to me and they had the right texture. The other ones, like I said, they hardened a little bit too much. Um, overall, they were great. I didn't measure, so I bought a dairy-free white chocolate and a dairy-free dark chocolate, and I just melted it in the microwave at 30 second increments. I just poured a little, as you saw, in a cup. So if I had to guess, I don't know, half a cup, three quarters of a cup, we didn't even use close to all of the frosting. And that's really it. The kids really liked them. They're a super healthy version of a cake pop. They're great for a party or just to have around the house. All right, guys, we will see you back next time for our next video. And we hope you guys have a great week.